all right guys welcome back to the final video in this video i'm going to show you how to generate the dam using sport 5 satellite imagery so this is the particular guideline inside example folder in the stereo pipeline uh, this documentation so i'm going to follow this tutorial and then uh, there are few things you might need to like change uh, in order to make your command workable so i'll show you like how to do that and then how to generate the team so let's get start i have already downloaded the stereo pair image so if you don't know how to download it make sure to check the video description below i have provided the link and after that you simply need to extract both of this zip file so that you will get the tiff file and its metadata uh, associate metadata file so yeah if i check this folder so inside which i have seen 01 and then i have this imagery.t file and the metadata.dim file right so make sure your both folder has this format and then just simply change one to the front and then another to the back so that it will uh, be easier to handle through command line all right so in order to getting start with the sport 5 dam generation there is a general guideline in the ems stereo pipeline documentation 8.22 section so sport 5 it take the like general overview of like sport imagery and then how to create the dam so basically i'm going to follow this method but uh, i know there are some of the step which are missing and then which might be confusing as a beginner so i'll try to like uh, explain those commands and then i'll try to like uh, solve this for example in the final step there is a like final step is missing to generate the dam which is uh, we need to convert point cloud to them so I, i'm going to do that right now in this video so in order to do that so simply you need to like uh, write the command open the terminal in this folder and then type the wsl so that you will open the wsl and after that we'll write this command one by one all right so to help you get start so i have created the script.sh file which is simply the script which will help you to generate the day generate the uh, digital elevation model of course definitely in order to run this file you need to like download two data set and then create folder in such a way that front and back scene zero and scene zero for both and and the thing you might need is also you need to provide the path to the dam so simply provide your dam file inside dam slash sample dam dot file uh, so if you did that then uh, you will be ready to go so yeah so right now my front and back is right here so anyway i'm going to like run this script one by one and then i'll show you like how and i will be able to generate the dam the first command is i am simply uh, renaming my folder name so since uh, i think bundle adjustment uh, command from asp has some problem with the same uh, file name even though they are from different folder is explained in their documentation uh, right here somewhere so i'm simply moving those file to the uh is a ender file okay okay so since i i, I looks like i already renamed it right here uh, while i was in offline so metadata front instead of uh, default metadata so it's already renamed right so that's good okay now the second step is to like apply the bundle adjustment so before applying bundle adjustment uh, i want to show you how, what are the like available options here so in case if you don't know about this command line simply you can type help so that you will get uh, some help with this command so simply here uh, basically there are so many options and then most of the options are default and but we, we just need to provide few of these 
and uh, simply we need to provide the images and then camera file which is the metadata and then we have to provide the output file and yeah basically that's all so that's what i am trying to provide here so simply i'll paste that and then here so the thing is how we provide is bundle adjust slash t means which algorithm we want to like apply and then simply prompt imagery and then back imagery right so this is from prompt scene one imagery dot tiff back scene one imagery dot tiff and after that we'll provide the metadata make sure your metadata has the different file name if you write metadata dot dim even it is in the different folder uh, it might not work that's what written in the documentation so that's why i have metadata front and then metadata back name and then my output um, result will be stored inside ba run slash out folder so simply hit run so it might take few seconds to run actually so let's wait so basically the bundle adjustment bundle adjust command what it will do is it will try to correct the camera location and then its orientation so basically while capturing the image it will have some errors in the uh, camera position and orientation so basically it will try to adjust based on like both imagery so that's what it's doing in the background all right so now the bundle adjustment part is completed so now the other step is to we need to add the rpc which is a polynomial equation kind of thing so simply i copy and paste the thing so simply what it will do is it will simply add the some sort of like coordinate uh, in the both metadata file so in the front one so it will add some sort of like it will randomly select the points and then uh, eight thousand points and then it will set uh, the location so that it can like project easily uh, the file we'll do that in the uh, ender command all right so it's run successfully so in next process you may have seen that so we need to provide the sample dem so in order to like download the dem so i have created the ender tutorial uh, where i use the qgis plugin uh, open topography dem downloader plugin and then i have it downloaded the dem of my study area make sure you download the uh, dem file so that it will cover your whole study area i mean whole imagery so make sure to watch this video uh, video uh, so that you can download the srtm dem i'll put this video in the uh, description below so make sure you watch this video and then download the dem file so for me i already downloaded it so my dem file is right here inside dem folder i have the sample slash dem dot t file so it's written in this uh, example so simply what i'll do is i'll simply copy this command one by one so i'll copy this and then paste it in the terminal so basically what it will do is it will try to like project your uh, imagery uh, front and back imagery one by one uh, to the uh, to the actual coordinate system so basically previously it will have some like uh, some of the like errors so it will simply project your uh, imagery to the uh, corresponding map projection so that you can match to imagery and then uh, create some uh, tie points and then create the dam so simply uh, here the first parameter will be the your dam file 
and then second parameter will be a path to your imagery and then path to your metadata and then this front map pros dot uh, simply it's the name of the file you want to save and then minus t equal to rpc since we added the like uh it, we we added our metadata front using rpc right so this is the kind of algorithm we are using so simply hit run and then it might take few seconds uh, to minute uh, depending on your pc capacity to run this process and then uh, it will simply project and then create the front map slash port uh, dot t file on your uh, on your uh, working directory all right so the process is done for me it took around 75 seconds now i can see the front map dot pros file so if i load it here definitely it will have some correction and then uh, it will be uh, loaded uh, something similar like okay so right now so the other step is all right so now we'll do the same process for the other imagery which is back imagery so simply we provide path to them and then back imagery back metadata and then the name of the file and then algorithm to rpc so it might also take around 70 seconds all right so it's even faster so only it took around 62 seconds so now we have back map pros.tif file so now the other step is to like uh, run the stereo processing actually uh, in the stereo processing so there are lot of like a uh, lot of methods so for example you can type help to check what are the available options for parallel stereo definitely you can uh, check the like uh, check the different uh, algorithms as well and then different alignment types so there are other bunch of other uh, like options so those are uh, not the mandatory options definitely if you would like to like see the more information about it so definitely i uh, i ask you to like check the six uh, so not this one um, maybe the this section so six uh, section the next step stereo pipeline in more detail so basically you can select the alignment method and then this algorithm uh, stereo algorithm is the main uh, key of this process so depending on your selection of algorithm uh, it will like uh, it will it will be like different time span so you might the process might need to run your uh, finish your process so yeah there are so many options and so many alignment uh, methods so feel free to check those and then uh, you can right now you can run the stereo parallel processing and uh, in the parallel processing basically the uh, main uh, functions are like you need to provide the algorithm i mean the which uh, method you are going to run so for me it's sport pipe map prpc which is which means sport pipe projected map so definitely if you are running sport pipe projected map at the end you need to provide your dem file as well otherwise if you are running only the sport pipe then uh, you you can only provide the front and back back and front metadata back metadata that's all and then definitely uh, the other uh, other algorithm uh, other uh, other option will be like you need to provide the uh, path to the output directory. So yeah, that's all. So if you hit run, so it might take around like two hours, uh, more than two hours to run this process. Uh, the process might be a little bit less depending on your selection of the algorithm and then selection of the um, selection of your computer or laptop your processing capacity but for me it took around two hours to run this process so i already tried before as well so yeah let's wait for a few minutes 
all right so the process run successfully now we need to run the final step so from above step uh, it will create simply the point cloud now we need to convert that point cloud to dem and then if you check uh, the st run folder so there you'll see the out pc file somewhere uh, which is right here so we need this file uh, using this file we are going to convert this to the dam and then we have our ortho photo too which is out l i believe so yeah it's out l so which is the ortho image and then uh, simply we need to provide the output file which is dam pc okay simply copy this cell and then maybe paste it over here and then hit run so yeah it will simply create the dam so it will calculate the statistic and then calculate bounding box and triangulation error and then it will simply create the dam so let's wait for a few minutes all right so the finally our dam is created successfully so basically it's creating two files dam pc.t dash dem file and then the other one is drg file and of course we have some error in this dam uh, since is uh, it's generated from stereo processing the triangulation error cutoff is 0 uh, 6.08 meters so we have some statistics as well make sure to check them out and uh, now in the st run folder so we have this dm file so now you can simply load it in qgis and uh, it will take some time to load all right so now it's loaded successfully uh, you can check it uh, so maybe somewhere around this area so it has some like higher values uh, in the original dam and then uh, in the uh, our dam also it has a little bit higher value compared to the lower value right so yeah so it's it's generating a pretty good dam so we can uh, analyze it uh, by simply by looking also you can check the error matrix as well so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this hit the like button and then subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching